So um, my first question is, should um, a legacy be defined within a global context? Would you want to define a legacy from a personal point of view? Or as a matter of fact, um, should the legacy um, lose its significance over time? Or would a legacy lose its definition over time? I want you to think about this as I journey you through. I'll take you far away from the United States of America. I'll take you far away from 2020, 2022. And I'll send you through to a country called Ghana. Just picture this, right? It's a hospital that is under-resourced, and yet it promises to save lives and, and offer a meaning to peoples. There, there is this gentleman, a 58-year-old man um, and an 18-year-old man. One year in the, the, the time of his death, and then another who is, is just about to begin. There is this one who has been thrust into a role of responsibility, and another who is... It's just winning. He's trying to actually judge his role of responsibility. The last five years have been very hard on them. Very hard on them. One has lost 80% of his organs. Another is just about to begin his. This is my story. This is the story between my father and I. This story begins with me trying to understand the entirety of life. My father had always been my source of hope and inspiration. As a matter of fact, he was my emotional support. I used to tell friends that growing up was very difficult for me. I'd faced loads of bullying. And yet this was me who had wheeled this gentleman years to the hospital. This was me who had seen this gentleman with so much strength, and yet this man was just about to die. We were both contemplating, what will my next years be? And yet he was contemplating, does this man, does this young man believe I've lived a life of meaning? That conversation lived with me for a long time. You see, a legacy is not built, it's not only a technical thing, a legacy is a personal thing. Just understand that, right? The definition of a legacy is not only a technical thing, it's also a personal thing. A legacy is built on traditions and experiences, whether borrowed or personal. A legacy is either a legacy is either uh, it's not only a, a technical thing; it's also a, it's also a, a personal thing. You should be able to personalize what you call a legacy. A legacy is built on tradition and experiences, right, whether borrowed or personal. And to better understand what the definition of a legacy is, please look deep within. Find out your being. Find out who you are. Find out where you are. Find out where you want to be. Let's have this conversation about legacy. First, I want, I want to let you understand that legacies are latent. You cannot just wake up one day and start a legacy. Our president has been president of this um, institution for a long time. We've had people whose names were mentioned since 2002. 20 years of building a legacy. It wouldn't take two years or two days or two, two, two months for you to build yours. It never happens that way. Legacy sometimes would outlive you. How did he move from B, from MLK to BLM? From Martin Luther King to Black Lives Matter? Who that will lead you. And yet, you should understand that it's not about you. It has never been about you. It's never about you enjoying all the benefits of Concordia. It's about you walking to the doorsteps of the president of Concordia and moving the thought and plan somewhere to the west, western part of Africa. Legacies are exhausting. For those achievers and overachievers, you understand. You'd have to wake up in the mornings. Wake up at dawn, dream, lose sleeps, lose social events, lose family meetings. You cannot live or you cannot build a legacy on an ordinary life. And I want to explain this first. There's a difference between an ordinary life and a normal life. What would be your normal life as compared to your ordinary life?
your normal life will be waking up in the morning, going to the gym, and then walking or running on the treadmill. What will be an extraordinary life? It will be you having a print on that shirt that will motivate the next person on the next treadmill. Do you see the difference? The beautiful difference between an ordinary life and a normal life? And that is how a legacy should be. That whenever you walk into an environment and a space, look for opportunities for change. Look for opportunities to grow and look for opportunities to influence. It means your mind should be raising every now and then. It means your thoughts should, be, should, should go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. It means you should go beyond 100 years. You should go through to 200 years. It means you should have partners who should enjoy the, your vision and your, and, and your goal. It's not going to be just you waking up and then saying hi to the next person in the cafeteria. It's about you looking at the person and you really imagine the context of the person being and trying to influence that. You should be sensitive to that. And it's exhausting to do that. It's not normal. It's not, it's not ordinary. It should be extraordinary to do that. Legacies are very gigantic. Gigantic, depending on how you say it. They are normal. They are huge. Sometimes you look to yourself and find out and ask yourself, can I do it? Am I just wasting my time? Do I have the potential to do that? But understand that before something can be termed or defined within the context of a legacy, it has to be bigger and deep, deeper. You cannot do anything without actually understanding the enormity of it. It does not lie within the context of the, of the smaller ticks and dicks. Again, a legacy cannot be a project and a milestone. I'll bring you to the, the normal context. Again, a project will be you trying to lose weight, right? You trying to lose weight. That is a project. My project is by the end of 2022, I am going to lose weight, period. And what are the milestones? The milestones may be you changing your diet, you drinking more water, you losing 10, um, 10 pounds every three months. That is the milestone. But what is the legacy? The legacy is you being able to transform and translate your experience into a written print. That will, be, that will live beyond you. It is you immortalizing your experience to motivate the other person. It is you memoing it down and sharing it on social media. That is the difference between a project, a milestone, and a legacy. A legacy should be able to influence others as it influences you. It should detail your strengths, your, 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 your struggles, and everything. A legacy is achievable. Just understand that no matter how much it happens, a legacy is always achievable. I've never seen a legacy that has never been achieved. Even the worst of the, of the kind. Even, even if it means you going into someone else's country and then bombing it and saying that I want to take this part of that person's country. At the point, you can't achieve it. If it means you changing the course of life and history by just going to space, it can't be achieved. Understand this. The reason why I brought the negative and the positive aspect of it is because of the fact that you have to be aware that other people are living negative legacies. And so your positive legacies can counteract that. Understand that. Whatever anyone seeks, seeks to achieve, it is possible to do that. And so understand that the, way, the, the next day, or every moment that you waste time achieving yours, someone else is building theirs. And then it comes to the fact that a legacy is a calling. It has to be a calling. And that's why most people fail in trying to build a legacy. However, supporting a legacy is not a calling. It's for everyone. The person who printed the legacy on the leg on the, on the shirts, the person who wipes the mic, the person who organizes it, the one who holds the placard, the one who goes on the radio stations, the one who goes on air, the one who is actually advocating for climatic change, climate, climate change. Those are the ones that actually build the legacy. So keep that in thought. As you find out and what you look around you and ask yourself, if it is not my calling to dream, how can I promote someone else's dream? Last, a legacy is noble. When my dad's time came, he looked at me in the weakness of his strength. He 
had a long conversation and he understood the fact that it was time for him to leave. I told a story about the fact that when my dad died, my family decided to use, you know, there was so much chaos, crying and mourning and everything. I did not understand that because I lived the Christ life with him that moment at the hospital, right? And when he died, my, my family decided to use the little funds, you know, because we struggled. We used all the money to try to get him healthy and back to normal state. It wasn't possible. We lost so much work, right? So my family decided to use the, le- the last that was left to actually feel, um, bury him and then have that beautiful pageant of a, of, of, of a funeral. I was confused. That was not my dad's legacy. This was a man who had actually stepped out of school to take care of these people. All my aunties and uncles had actually lived their lives and true beings through my dad's benevolence. My dad had stepped out of school because his dad died around the same time he died. And yet these people did not understand the legacy of education and then transferring it to others. And so I was angry and upset. While they, while they were crying, I was just upset. I just didn't know. I wasn't sensitive to that. And my grandmother asked me, she was like, why are you not crying? And as a matter of fact, she asked me, if I die, will you cry? A few weeks later, she died. And as a matter of fact, at the funeral, my dad was laying in state and my grandmother was laying in state. And they were still crying. I just did not understand that. And that's why today I have decided to purpose, I've purposed my life to change the lives of people, right? through influencing them. That's why I have loads of people that I'm trying to motivate to live the, 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 the life of IT, to influence science and technology with that. That is a legacy that my dad has transferred to me. However, I will come to a time that I'll remember and I'll have to understand I have to yield it as much as my dad yielded. What will be your life? What will be your legacy? Would your legacy move from a BLK, uh, sorry, an, an MLK to a BLM? Would your legacy move from an I have a dream to I am woke? What would be your legacy? I know there will be loads of thoughts after this, but I want you to challenge yourself. Give yourself some time and ask yourself again, am I going to define a legacy from a global point of view? Am I going to define it? Am I going to personalize my legacy now? Am I going to actually, is my legacy going to change over time from a BLM to an ML? Uh, um, from an MLK, uh, uh, MLK to a BLM, would it, its significance even change over time? Would it encompass a whole new generation with other ethnicities? Would that be from just it's me to a me too? Or it's from her to a me too? Think about that as, a, as the time goes by. And I hope one day you live a life of legacy and you transfer that to support someone. Build one, but remember that it's time for you to.